Hello, I hope you guys are having a wonderful week so far. I am, we've had a few days off um, due to rain, which is always nice um, to catch up on a few things and just kind of have a break. We've been going for a week straight. So, probably be back in the fields tomorrow. I thought I would go ahead and do a quick video on how we determine what field we're harvesting next. So, I already pulled some corn. Um, it is super, super windy outside today. My plan was to show how we decide what beans are harvested next, um, but I would need to be outside. Here, I can be in the scale house, and it is just way too windy um, to record anything outside today. So, I can do all this from here. So, corn we look for if there ooh, are any diseases um, that would cause, you know, the stock to... Uh, deteriorate faster um, that wouldn't stand as well for as long we do that first um, those automatically go to the top of the list this year unfortunately um, we did have tar spot move in which is a disease that we don't usually have to worry about so those fields automatically um, they'll be the first ones out and second um, if there's any other kind of disease like anything on the cob try to get that out as quickly as possible um, and then moisture, and that is the big one. So we want all of our corn dried down to 15% moisture. We have a dryer here, um, which I think I've shown a little bit maybe last harvest. I'll show some more once it's up and running. We haven't done any corn yet. So that is just going to dry it down. We want to like, try, best case scenario, is to leave it in the field until it dries down naturally to 15%. Um, you get that with good, sunny, hot weather. Um, so it's definitely dried down a lot in the past week. It's cooled off now. Um, but I think we're sitting probably better now this year than we have been the last couple years. There's been one year in like, the past 10 years where we got lucky and we pretty much didn't even have to run the dryer at all, which is great because it saves us input costs. We don't have to worry about paying for more dryer gas um, and time because someone has to be here when that dryer's running constantly to be checking it, which means that my dad does not sleep. Like he is here, he sleeps here in the bedroom. That's why we have a bedroom at the shop um, because we don't live, my parents don't live on the farm. Um, to check that pretty much every hour um, as it's running through the night because you have to get it empty before you can start shelling corn again the next day so it's really hectic and the closer we can get it in the field down 15 percent the better and less stressful it is for everyone so this was our first planted field of corn i don't remember i want to say it's 116 day corn we have not checked it i know that the corn across the road i think it's 113 day maybe corn um 10 days ago it tested at 22.9 percent and then i think it was monday or tuesday so three or four days ago i think it was it came in at 19.7 percent so it dried down um about three points in a little less than a week um but that was also a really good weather. It was really, really hot. Actually, probably some of the hottest days we've had all summer. So now all we have to do is hand shell this, these into, of course, handy dandy boulder can. Cannot go wrong with that. And then pop it in the moisture tester. Okay, got all the corn good to go. So when you're out in the field, um, you can get like a rough estimate of what it's going to test. Um, some people will do the bite test. Uh, we never did that on corn, just soybeans. So what we do on corn is we take a handful and we rattle it. Like, I don't know if you can hear that. Let me put it next to the microphone. Okay. And the more it rattles, the drier it is. Um, Honestly, um, I'm going to say that that field across the road is drier than this, even, um, this was up at the Harness East Farm, even though this was planted first, it's a longer day corn, um, and the, the dirt is like slightly different, 
um, up there. So I guess it's time to pour it in. So this is our handy dandy moisture tester. I don't remember how long we've had this. It's been several years. And before that, we used to have to do it by hand. So this shelf was set up. Um, you couldn't have as many coffee cans on it because we had a whole like little scale and all of that thing right there. Like when I say we did it by hand, we did it by hand, not like one of those handy dandy little portable ones. But this thing is freaking awesome. So I think It's gonna come in at 25.2%. Uh, I will be wrong, my dad is like so accurate almost like probably 90% of the time that sometimes it's like, why did I even pay um, so much money for this thing? So this is a handy dandy machine. So let me show you how it works. So I just had to turn it back on. We had um, everything in here off um, when it was raining and storming the last couple days. So we're gonna go to analyze and we're gonna pick corn, obviously. And then I'm going to pour it in until that turns green. Okay. And then once it's a good size sample is poured in there, you're just going to hit the green button. Super easy. And it's going to, before I hit it and it gets loud, it's going to fall through here to like the testing part here. And then it will eventually come out in this drawer. So I was one point off. It was, there's our drawer full of corn. I'm just gonna go ahead and pour that back in there. One point off, what did I say, 25 something? I think 25 too, and it's 26 too. So definitely some people might go ahead um, and shell that corn. We, we wouldn't, we would try to wait a little bit longer unless it was like literally completely on the ground or there was a tornado headed our way, which there's not. So. It's standing pretty good still, so that's gonna stay out there and will not be the top of our priority list to harvest. So if I missed anything on what we look for in fields, we just kind of um, go around and we just watch the fields. Mostly my dad, um, he usually does a lap around uh, like a little route um, in the morning. And it's honestly, it's a little easier to tell when beans are ready to go than corn just by looking at it. Like I've seen a lot of people shelling corn that's pretty dang green this year. Um, and this field actually was, like there was actually a decent amount of green. I'm gonna set this over here so I don't lose it in case dad wants to do anything with it. Um, there actually was a decent amount of green still left in it. Whereas this field across the road, there's not. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean by looking at it that one is automatically drier than the other. Sometimes it's really surprising. So with that, you definitely have to like go out and not just on the end rows, like you actually have to go out in the field, pull some ears and actually look at it. So yeah, that is kind of how we do corn with this handy dandy machine that makes our lives so much easier. Um, and that's about it so if i missed anything um or if you guys do it a different way the two main ways i know to test the moisture in the field yourself without like a portable little moisture tester is the rattle or the biting i don't like the biting though like something about the texture of field corn like this is not this isn't sweet corn you get at the grocery store or the farmer's market so that's that